Linda, well, more officers and detectives have arrived in the last hour. Officials here say that they got a call at around 1.50 from neighbors saying they heard gunshots. Now, that where this all happened is over there behind me at the apartment you see over there. When police arrived, they searched the area and found a man in his 30s dead inside that apartment. Officials with the El Paso Police Department tell NC9 Today they this is a homicide investigation. The Crimes Against Persons Unit is out here. Now, police say no one else was injured and nobody is in custody at this hour. I did speak to the father of the victim who says he's in shock right now and just wants this all to be a nightmare. He tells me his son lived alone and he had just turned 30. He also says he spoke to him last night and the victim's brothers are also here. They're devastated, of course, and just waiting to get more answers from detectives as they work to find out what led up to the shooting. And now the area where police are investigating is on Lawrence Avenue between Dyer and Gateway North. It's right by by La Farrell Middle School, which used to be Wainwright Elementary. However, there's no students here. This is just a facility for employees and an officer with EPISD police tells us those people will be able to come to work, but this portion of Lawrence will stay closed throughout the morning. Reporting live in Northeast El Paso, Daniela Pardo, NC9 Today.